Hello and welcome to my next tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you something more simple than usually. This will be a distortion node in Cinema 4D Octane. So here is just a sine wave on the torus with gradient clamped, so it looks like a lines. And if I play it and just compare it with what I have here, and you can see I distort it and it's even animated. So it's a really cool trick to get different results and you don't even necessarily need to animate it. You can just make something really interesting just from one simple sine wave lines. Okay, so let's go to create extension C4 the Octane, Octane Material. Let's apply it to our object. Let's go to the node editor. And in node editor, I will just show you right away the method to distort your textures. So let's make the sine wave again. I think it's great for this example. Let's play it to diffuse just so we can have clear view of what's going on. But it can be any other thing like roughness, maybe bump or something. And I will add here transform to just scale it down till I get just the lines. And to make it more sharp, I will add octane gradient after the sine wave and just clamp those two sliders together. And I have really sharp lines here now. And the distortion is actually quite simple. You just have it in a projection. So I will add projection. And in projection, I just want to change to distorted mesh UV. And nothing will happen right away. You need to set up a few things. But before I will start setting those things up, I want to show you something here in stem for this. So right now I have here Taurus. And if I make it editable by clicking C on it, it will turn it to the mesh and it will generate this UV map because all of these primitives here have UVs made already. So when you make them editable, it will just generate UV from it. But let's say you don't have UV and this will not work then. So what you want to do in this case, just go here, click right at the, your object, type in UV, set UV from projection will pop out and you want to click at this cog and in here you can choose the projection type and here there's a lot of different projection types if you want a nice box projection like in here in the octane just go with the cubic tool uh, or you can go with aut uh, automatic packed uvs so let's try maybe automatic packed uvs and it looks like crap but yeah the best way to have it right is to just have nice uvs so you can always try it or let's try the cubic too and it's almost good but yeah i will stick with the torus this is the fastest way if you don't have uvs and you don't really are into making own uvs because it might be hard for you or something else so this is the fastest way but if you know how to make uvs it's always best to have nice clean uvs okay let's keep going with the distortion then if we for example mess with those settings here nothing is going on here maybe we just scale it down here but no distortion is made so what we need to do is actually connect for example maybe noise 4d it can be also octane noise but i will use uh, noise 4d because i want to show you the animation and we connect it to translation and still nothing is happening right but we can now change rotation in range and get the distortion effect here this way right now the uvs for this torus are a bit stretched if i solo note the noise 4d and change to something else like maybe zada or something more visible or the scale you can see it's stretched so i will just recompensate that by unlocking the log exped ratio and just lowering it slightly just so i can have nice clean distortion and now when i distorted here i don't have this super stretched look which i get before so yeah and also of course whatever you change here will uh, affect the distortion here so if i change the whole scale it will also affect it and we can use whatever we want here for example something more interesting like um the luca here that's the one way of making the distortion here Another way is also to apply this to scale and then just move one range of scale. But then you get really weird effect where it's almost not affected here, but on the opposite side it is. So it might be useful for some kind of um, weird effects, but it doesn't really work for me in this case. But you can see, you can get result where it's only distorted on one side and get really random looking distortion here. But yeah, the best way is to just connect it to the translation and mess with the rotation here and we can also animate the noise here just click on it go to the last frame type in maybe two or three and click on it again we can play and we get animated noise here we can make it bigger so it's more visible maybe change it to something more pleasing to eye 
and get really nice results this way. Hope you find it entertaining and you learned something new today. If you like this type of content, be sure to subscribe. My goal on this channel is to upload one tutorial every week. You can also check my Instagram and I think that's it. See ya.